think I had enough. For this money got me acting up. Niggas be mad as fuck, cause they know I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck, I gotta bag it up. People would take it serious, though. Bro, what is it? <laughs> so what happened, Charlie? Bro, <laughs> we're halfway done. And Not halfway done. And it, we were like, you mean it was called uploading? Halfway done? Like, it wasn't my channel. It wasn't a Caliban Sports channel, bro. Like, what's up, Charlie? Sinceramente, la regué. Sinceramente. Ah, tú pinche paparazzi. I will left. Damn. This is the struggles of a YouTuber. I'm a cry, bro. Hey, bro, we've been here since like 7 in the morning all the way to like 5 in the morning. Like, this is like no joke, bro. Look at our eyes, bro. This is like... I think we pulled like three all-nighters in a row. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. We might not. We might not survive this. The hard work is going to pay off, though. Okay. What do you like your thoughts about things, bro? About coaching is okay, I'm going to tell you guys uh, something. Not, right I'm before I was posting this coaching, video, like make so sure, this is just a tip for everyone I, I and stuff, no, to self, that you guys have like to watch your videos before you publish. Yeah. Because we were about to publish this, but there were a couple scenes for the beginners, that the letters were, uh, they were like 135. It's pretty cool, I like it. Fire, right? yeah. I fuck with it, bro. I fuck with it. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, damn, imagine me speaking, bro. My first, my first keynote speaker. Like, damn, bro. This shit, this shit, fire. <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this, subscribe to our channel. Like this. Watch it. Share it to your friends and family. Come on. Shout out to this phone, Angel. Uh, we we have our uh, ups and downs sometimes. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we fuck around. Sometimes we're just not doing anything. But shout out to Angel. You feel motivated, right? Huh? You feel motivated with that mic in your hand, right? Yeah. Like you feel like you're empowered, and right? You're empowered, like people just like listen to me, and I'm just like, damn. So we started off by from scratch. We decided we want to help a lot of professional athletes, a lot of professional coaches, because we saw a huge gap in the market, and we want to help people because that's what I want. That's my mission is like, I want to help so many people out there. And imagine getting to know professional athletes and coaching. Uh, there was a new TV reality show. And when we watch them, we pay attention to them, what, what they do, what they eat, how they think, the mindset. And that's what we decided the idea of community sports because if we can show people exclusive and entertaining contents and also motivational tips on how to become a better athlete and coach, like that's fucking powerful. <laughs> uh, so we decided to community sports because of that. And, um, also, we want to help athletes and coaches. You know, I feel like they have a story to tell, so why not expose that story to everyone in the world? And from there, we're gonna keep creating not just simple interviews, but a lot of creative content, so you can get to know them. Um, if we're on app, we're on all platforms, social media, like Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, podcast. We have articles and podcasts. You can listen to it, watch it. Read it. So yeah, that's how we started with the company. This is the story that we, that's how we found the company. That's we, we want to help people out there and help a lot of professional people out there in the industry. Slow down, slow down, baby. I'm not gonna lie, when you have the, the microphone while speaking, it, it looks like, it feels like you're like, you have the power, like you're in charge of everyone. Like everyone's looking up to you. That's crazy, right? And like, I feel like when you're talking, like when you have this microphone on your hand, it's like everyone's watching you. Like the whole world is just paused and paying attention to you, which is crazy. <laughs> like, imagine speaking in front of a thousand people, bro. Like, oh my god. Anuel. Brrr. Can't get a round of applause for Charlie. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Are you guys pumped? I should get mad quiet. <laughs> Look, I kind of lied. I'm not good at marketing, but why give it a shot, right? Or why not give it a shot? So I did, right? And now six months in the process, not even launching our company. We already got a partnership. Imagine that. Not taking that initial step of you saying, hey, look, I'm gonna help out a friend. And now where you got now, like where, where would you be right now, right? Me? No, I'm talking to the viewers. Oh. <laughs> where would you be if you didn't take that chance, right? That's what happened with me. I took that chance. 
you know, I'm here standing in front of all you guys. Wendy's, cause yo, we were mad hungry, yo. Look at this. Blessing, blessing. Cause I wasn't fudging, like oh, my brain was just like. Someone log me out. Ugh, it wasn't there. You didn't bless him. If you guys don't eat your lunch with honey mustard, damn, bro. You don't know what you're missing out. What's your Gary Vee video? So we learn more about marketing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys don't know, that's what we do. We're on break, but I'm going break. We're learning. Gotta learn. More flight balance. He plays for Leicester, still in England. Yeah, he owns the place. What happened to your leg? Uh, I went to go work out this morning. The what? I, I went to go work out this morning. I did legs and I hurt. So I look at you, right? We don't look at him, or how do we uh, do You can it? look at the camera back and forth. Yeah. You can open the legs more. Oh, yeah, you want to you wanna open the legs more? Yeah, you see? Mira, tú no sabes nada. I, I'm not good with film. Not good. That's not film, that's a we're tripod. Like, we're, we're like filming stuff, you know? Like, because I think they can still hear you, even though you're talking loud enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeff, did you ever eat this food? Uh, I think I have, right? Oh, yeah, when I went to his house. house. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good, honestly. Yeah. Yo, I think I think this is the uh, highest accomplishment so far. We just did another interview with a professional soccer player. He played in the Premier League, Leicester City. He was the captain, guys. Yo, like I the think thing, 2014, the thing is, 2016 in the Champions 2016, League. 2016, yeah. He really, he really came in a full suit. I was yeah. like, I was no. like, yo, yo, I wasn't even prepared, though. I was, I liked it. Yo, he's mad cool. Yeah, he's mad. Yo, he brought like some crazy motivational type shit, like tips, like high tips that you guys can use. This is the Hudson Sport Complex. Um, it's Christian's um, academy where he developed a lot of professional, uh, a lot of soccer players. And so yeah, I don't appreciate know how, the small things, guys. Yeah, the small I, things. I don't know how how I feel, bro. Low key, I was so scared. So they have five indoors places too. Should we show them a tour? Like when we go up there? Oh, we're gonna yo. show you guys. We're gonna show you All guys. Right, so we're gonna show you guys the whole tour. Ready? Let's go. I've been had enough. For this money got me acting up. Niggas be mad as fuck, cause they know I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck. I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck. I gotta bag it up. If I gotta act hard, then I clout what I'm chasing. Shorty pull up, slay, Jason. Pull up and cool, swear, racing. I keep a check, blue face. I love when they gotta hate on me. I'm on my grind, on Tony. Bitches gon' hate, they phony. Money stay on my side, never lonely. Feeling real gritty, all in my city. I got these bad bitches with me. I feel like Bruno, but call me Uno. Cause I got one of them with me. And I'm a beast, pity, huh? This shit gon' bang, shitty, huh? Gotta put on for my city, yeah. Bitch, I keep everything like I think I had enough. All this money got me acting up. Niggas be mad as fuck, cause they know I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck, I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck, I gotta bag it up. I think I had enough. All this money got me acting up. Niggas be mad as fuck, cause they know I gotta bag it up. Niggas be mad as fuck. I gotta bag it up Niggas be mad as fuck I gotta bag it up Uh, yo, uh, right now, what do you guys think of the place so far? It's pretty phenomenal, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, guys, um, this okay, was awesome. The, this was behind the scenes of the ribbon cut. Yeah. It's yo, yo, we met a professional soccer player from Leicester City. Professional soccer player, he has a whole, like, this complex where he wants to build up, you know, many youth players, academies, and, you know, to dorm and play soccer there, like, and study. This whole, like, place, and he brought us in the office. You know Christian's office, and um, it was kind of crazy though, cause like he brought us in the office, we played soccer, he showed us the whole building. The soccer cleats were in the office, and we were there like, yeah. look at it, we're like, what? Like, and yo, this, this is yo, this, yo, this, yo, yo, he touched it. He literally grabbed the boot, the, the soccer cleat, and he just picked it up and like, take care, guys. Hopkins, Bingo. Love you guys. Beautiful one of the journals.